Hi friends, last class we have seen the use context and introduction to use context. Today we are going to implement the uh, in increment and counter increment and uh, to do application using the use context context API. First of all, I am going to open my Visual Studio code. In this, I am going to open my project. Open project. E directory web application react js react hooks my react hooks this one select this folder open last class we have discussed the introduction and uh, some in this uh, um, basic uh, context example and change theme today i am going to uh, implement the counter application for this i am going to create separate folder counter app counter app first i'm going to create here an index uh, index uh, index dot jsx this is the base for the counter app next one is next file is counter count count jsx in this uh, application, three things I am going to, to download. Next one is button. Button dot JSX. This one is uh, uh, going to change to the count C in the capital letter. First, I am going to write uh, here an RFCE. this counter dot app in this it, it contains the two components one is count count is one component and another one is button 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 two things one is the increment and one is the increment for this first i'm going to write the rfce button it contains the props props dot i'm going to inject this props dot text or title you can make write it as a title next one is rfce counter rfce count count this one also count It is coming from the here props log title equal to increment increment this is the one more props like title equal to decrement here contains the actual data I am not going to use the props here, not going to write the use state here. I am going to write the use the context API for this. For that, in the in the uh, index the, uh, in the context itself, there is a uh, context itself. I am going to create uh, here only in the counter app only. I am going to create uh, counter count context count context dot uh, js i'm going to create here here i'm going to first i'm going to we know that we are going to create the context from the react const uh, i'm going to name it as a counter or count context equal to create context of object empty object i'm writing here inside export this export default or export normally or if you want to export you can write export default count context second one is export function i'm going to create 
not not function export const uh, count provider i'm going to provide this things here i'm going to write count context dot consumer uh, sorry sir not consumer provider this one i'm going to provide to the my index dot jsx here i'm going to provide like like a uh, like a this like this like uh, how uh, count count provider like this i'm going to provide i'm going to show after completing this after completing this and uh, one more uh, one more thing is there function for the use state here i'm going to make it as a use use counter use counter equal to return use use context of i'm going to pass this one as a count context in the single page i have written all the three things one is a create context one in the second one is a provider third one is a user we are going to use we are going to use this provider in the index.jsx i'm going to provide this is a child for that count provider in this i'm going to pass a value called for this i'm going to create one use state count comma count comma set count count comma set count set count use state use state is coming from the same react only it is a default value of zero next next one is we are going to increment for that now we are going to increment we are going to increment in the in the this uh, this class this button class button class how we are going to use we are going to pass this count and set count we are going to pass count and set count i'm getting sweat where we are going to use this count and set count count we are going to use here for that const of destructure this of count restructure is the count use we are going to use use the use context also but we have written already this use counter here we are going to copy this and we are going to use this use counter and import from import this use counter from the dot slash count context count context it will gives the two things actually if you write directly uh, data i am writing directly data it will gives if you make it as a console dot of log of if you write like this and uh, execute the execute this one and go open the terminal run uh, npm run development environment it is running open the web browser and a local host 5173 it is not opening so okay it is opening that previous one for that we are going to the main.jsx in this in this remove this one and counter counter app this one we are going to provide is counter app coming from the okay 
on the ref here also in export i forgot it exporting okay if you make it as control control space means if you if you press the control space here and you will you will see the uh, which from which where from which location it is getting if you click on this if you put the mouse and click on this it will automatically import it if you want to delete unnecessary you can delete this one these things and you can delete this one also problem okay leave it this app no problem and go to the web browser see the count is not defined enter the jsx it is the error is coming okay maybe i have haven't uh, imported this import count from the dot slash count import next button from the dot slash button slash think is a capital Okay, three things are available. Make it as a style. First, I'm going to create first I'm going to create here one. box for that uh, for that uh, flex it has a flex flex column flex column margin y axis 10 not 10 four make it as a four margin y axis four and margin x axis some two make it as a border or shadow excel or give some width Give some width like two ninety pixel or make it as a three fifty pixel. Make it as a three fifty pixel. And you create one padding. Four. Create padding. Go to the count. Here create text. Excel text LG. Font. Semi bold. And uh, make it uh, change it to color to. Uh, change color to here. Uh, somewhat uh, text green four hundred. Now uh, here I am going to see the in the inspect this console. This see if you click on this, you are able to see two things here. How we are going to see using the use counter. Using this use counter, we data is giving. This data is in the form of object. This this will give the two things like one is the count comma set count 
this it is coming from the here where index.jsx we have made we have uh, imported here like a we have exported here value equal to in the curly braces we have passed the object called count comma set count the initial value of the count is zero set count is we have to make the we have to use the function to uh, use the function to update that update the count for this he is not here not required to update function for that i am going to only destructure the count only the count only i am going to use here column list uh, inject count see count is coming i am going to write in the span tag class name change it to orange orange 500 text excel text excel I'm going to the now I'm going to the button button I'm going to here I'm going to write props I'm going to write all props I'm going to write uh, like this I'm going to uh, okay, we will uh, destructure the props. No problem. Uh, we will destructure the props. Props dot class name. Here I'm going to write class name. Uh, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing is on click of on click of props dot props dot uh, props dot function. We are going to write. Or handle handle function handle fn handle fn function we are going to write for that I'm going to I'm going to our my base base uh, base file here here text lg Text LG font bold text LG font bold border to uh, show this button. With two is same text lg font bold and width 32 and border 2 border 2 give some here also give some margin If you make it as a two, rounded corners MD, rounded corners MD. Corners MD, next, 
and bg ag gray and text white bg gray and text white next to bg gray 600 text white okay if you click on this this will be increment for that i am going to write here on click method on click not on click method sorry handle fn we have already written and it pops in the handle fn for this here only i am going to write uh, or we can write here also so here we can write Yes, yeah, somewhat confusion for guys. For this, I'm going to make it as a here. I'm going to differently will do. I'm going to write one flag here. I'm going to make it as a flag for this increment. Or you can uh, instead of the increment flag is called to add flag equal to sub these two flags i'm writing uh, for this yeah if you instead of this one click off here we are going to restructure the structure set count from where use use counter use counter use counter set increment when the we are going to increment set counter of previous Mm, we are going to see prop start flag equal to equal to add prop start flag equal to add we are going to to increment which in, what we are going to use previous plus one or otherwise we are going to decrement previous minus one for this if you want to increment see simple trick if you want to decrement like this some new idea new innovation we have did not a new innovation like if you know that logic how to write that you can easily write this type of uh, logics like here also we have did the uh, uh, so many things but uh, we uh, it will it will makes you that uh, uh, it will make to make you to solve the prop drilling problem like here see state we are passing not here state we are not passing through uh, like props we are we are state we are coming from the actually that count context we are coming from the context through context this state we are coming only we are passing the what uh, like static data only here see if you see the title this thing and flag this thing this thing we have passed the state through context like uh, through use context or use counter uh, use counter is, is the function only from uh, from use context only we have uh, created one new function called use counter if you call this function also it will return the this use context of counter context without uh, without unnecessary uh, creating this use context in the every uh, every component we have did the we have did one function is called use counter and in this we have written the use co use context of counter uh, count context it will make that no need to call the every time or no need to uh, take uh, take the from the react we are directly 
once we have created we can use that use context use counter from the uh, count context here also and here also same thing like same like if you once again increment this if you refresh this see counter is again zero if you increment click on the increment it will increment it if you click on decremented if you click on decrement this one example one more example is one more example is to do application one more example is to do application create a folder called uh, context uh, to do app to do app context i'm creating why means here we are creating the to do app using the context here create a files called same like how oh, index dot jsfc is a base and and some more files called to do input to do input dot jsx one more file to do each to do if you want to place each to do to do dot jsx and one more to do list to do list dot jsx these things we have first in this index dot jsx we have the main counter uh, to do app it contains the to do app in this rfc it contains the each each and every to do it contains input input means we are going to uh, pass from here to and this uh, con uh, to the count count the context and second one is list to do list here here we are going to create one context mm to do context dot js here first first thing here we are going to import create context from the react and one more thing also use context also post uh, to do to do context to do context equal to create context to do context is equals to to do create context and we are going to pass here array array of like it contains the array of items these items it contains second one is we are going to export first we are going to export this one and uh, second one is export const uh, to do provider we are going to provide this to do to uh, to do to this uh, index.jsx file this uh, to do app to do provider equal to uh, to do context dot to do context dot actually no need to import this one also it is uh, not required but mandatory here also not required in the previous application like counter app also no need guys here we are i'm going to this to do context dot provider and one more thing is function like export function called use to do we are going to use this to do here we are going to return the use context of to do context here it contains the context for that first we are going to provide the first we are going to provide the uh, the to do provider to do provider to here our main app this provider here i'm going to uh, write the value of use state to do's comma set to do's 
todos comma set todos equal to use state of array use state of array todos comma here we are going to pass in the form of todos comma set todos who's not showing this okay problem is arrow problem is here i missed the missed the greater than like uh, less than symbol that's why it is showing the error showing the error here we we are going to call we are going to inject the three things here one is uh, two things only one is to do input first one is to do input next one is to do to do list to do list list two things we are going to import and in the here we are going to import import the each and every to do from the from the dot to do if you go to the main dot main dot jsx file go here to do app from the components context and to do app context remove this one on it if you go to here see here we are getting the three things go to the our index.jsx on do you here class flex and flex and flex column display ah oh, sorry not display justify uh, center and items center justify center and item center md sum2 and go to the input here we are going to the to do to do's to do's or to do app here text text excel font semi bold text excel font semi bold and uh, and change color not required we are going to do here do you here input button button is add button is add for this here type is equals to text and a class placeholder placeholder enter text dot 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 enter text dot 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 Let's write the somewhat empty for border to adding x axis 4 and y axis 2 for x axis 4 and y axis 2 rounded md rounded md and uh, right side some more one to give this two and uh, Make it as a test center. Make it as a test center. Okay. 
so it is a two axel okay this border change the border color so for darkish gray and 500 okay make it as a 400 okay and of this button also button also bg 500 same px4 and py2 and a rounded corner md rounded corner md and test white you could hover if you hover on 400 sorry 400 if you hover bg bg change it to 500 see if you hover on support here create one uh, input yeah creating one input for for input for this input or you can make it as a uh, instead of input content also change it to content this also change it to content this content is stored for content here i make it as a empty string this content is for this why it is not showing means because of i haven't imported this one and uh, Press click on the this uh, make it most if you place the mouse on here and press the control space and you will see this one you can select the use state and and press on the enter you will it will import it automatically see after saving this you will see the this one these things these things uh, make it as a controlled value equal to content value equal to content and on change of on change of here e of or you can make it as a here one more function called update input equal to going to e of set content of e dot target of value you can write like this also target of value instead of here you can write like this okay error is gone here if you see here if you want to see here if you want to see uh, you can uh, create one console dot log of uh, console dot log of e dot or uh, not of uh, sorry here write a content uh, click on the click on this right click on here and inspect this and uh, go to the console here if you want to write here lorem ipsum c Content is displaying here. How you using this? Uh, if you if you updating the input is update on change in every change, this update input is reflecting. This update is input is uh, taking the e event event is event dot target dot value is going to the this set content. Set content. This content is updating here. If you one second refresh and Superman stories are. Superman stories are wonderful. See, Superman stories are wonderful. If you want to submit these two, if you want to submit const handle, uh, add add item I'm creating. We of where we to where we are going to use here this one. Here on click of add item which item we are going to add uh, e is not required only required when the form c is going on uh, here we are going to first check this 
which one we are going to check content is there or not for this content dot trim we are going to remove the spaces also content dot trim we are going to remove the space also trim remove the leading and trailing spaces no need to pass here first if that content dot trim like content contains only and it like content it contains only some content that only in that case only we are going to uh, if you want to use you can use the console also content content is there content is there you can write messages content is available available you can display the content also see if you want to remove like you can comment this one and load this uh, we have to uh, already we have put we have injected the this add item already once refresh this and lorem ipsum data something i have written click on the add button see content is available lorem ipsum if you uh, if you delete this one and if you click on this this not it not showing this one or if you write the else part also but no need to write here not required we only want when the this addition add item is going to perform means we are only in the case of content is present for in that case only we are going to uh, we are going to dispatch the action dispatch the action if you see if you if you i am executing here spaces i am writing here spaces and if you click on the add button see in that case all the content is not content is not showing here it is this one is previous if you want once again i am going to execute see okay. click on the space button and one or two spaces button and click on the add button see not showing why spaces also i am removing here unnecessary spaces also removing only content is i am writing here if you write here here is some content here is some content then also i am writing spaces here if you click on here see here is some content please why it is displaying it contains some spaces if you remove the spaces also if you remove the spaces also it showing the it have the some content that's why it is uh, it going to the this if condition we are for this we are creating one new item here i'm going to create new item called id i'm going to create id nano nano id nano id mm, already import already injected npm js dot com uh, and go to the nano id nano id i think we have already installed the nano id previously if you want if you not installed if you new person click here go to the nano id in the npm npm js dot com here if you type here nano id we are going to get the here nano id page it will give the some unique id for the each and every to do each and every to do install this one here where we have can install means here i'm showing again here like this npm in i and nano id here run the server again on the server again next one is content next one is content 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 i'm writing directly or you can write the text also uh, text also text is equal to content next one completed completed means uh, like whether is the uh, if you come the, this one is completed means it will show in the form of uh, strike line this strike line the content will be in the form of strike line default it is false default it is false here we are going to use the const set set to do's equal to use use to do use to do okay. 
set to do's of we are going to pass previous previous to do's of previous to do's comma new item new item new item If you want to list these items in the to do's, we are here. We are going to use here. We are going to call the to do's to do's equal to use to do use to remove this one and map to do's dot to do's dot map of to do is that map of to do each to do each to do to do each to do key passing the to do dot id and one one more thing is i am passing the here test to do dot test to do dot text Or we can you can pass the whole to do also no problem you can pass whole to do no problem here we are going to write somewhat plus flex flex column and uh, somewhat up uh, is equals to four. In the to do, we are going to restructure these props of destructuring with the prop to do to do dot text. First, lorem ipsum current. Add this, see, displaying like this. After adding the input, we are going to make it as a uh, make it as a set set to do uh, set content of empty. We are making as a empty uh, here. Superman, Superman is wonderful, wonderful powers. Click on add button. Yeah. One after one. Now, if you want to show first begin the third one, we are going to use like that also here. Input first write the input item, then write this one. See if you want to here write one more uh, spider man. Spider Man is web based web based based powers 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 click on add click on add. here it is came to the front Spider Man is web based power if you want to write one more uh, one more means Right, some text okay copy this as tiny and secure url side is kept copy this one and paste here paste here and add this one see tiny secure urls unique string id here if you want to make it as an input flex <laughs> there I am going to write three things. One is the input type type checkbox. Input type checkbox. One more is uh, 
one more is div only here i'm going to write this text and another one is div like it contains the two things like uh, pencil and edit and edit option edit option and one more is trash trash can if you see this this one edit option and place this one in here place the trash can see two things here flex and gap of two here two justify between here click on the grow grow means it will occupy the front if you click on this one if you click on this one it will strike in the form of strike for that uh, for that here on change we are going to again for that sorry to on here click on here uh -huh. on on change here on change On change e dot uh, we are going to write filter first mm -hmm. okay here i'm going to write one function how it is going to solve this uh, filter like uh, or update update complete ah oh, sorry sorry i'm going to write toggle toggle to do toggle to do here i'm going to write for this toggle to do to do we are going to pass here to do dot id to do dot id we are going to pass here we are getting the id here we are going to pass to do dot here we are getting the id from where we are getting uh, sorry from where we are get, go, uh, used to that here restructure the to do's from use uh, use use to do from dot slash to do context dot slash to do in this we are going to to do dot filter uh, to do dot not filter map here get the each and every to do in this to do dot id equal to equal to id in this case in this case dot 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 to do to do uh, dot 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 to do and we are going to change this completed this we are going to toggling using previous to do dot to do dot completed or we are going to make it as a normal to do if that it is if the condition is not satisfied we are going to make it as a normal to do one more thing on change of to do see if you have lorem ipsum 
uh, container i'm writing something see javascript is powerful full web application web application uh, web application tool okay right. something like this and one more, one more thing uh, spiderman is web based man web based man next one uh, next batman is powerful full then powerful then superman okay if you click on here it will show like a, uh, okay we have implemented this one but uh, we have to strike this for that we had one curly braces and curly braces grow this one and uh, if uh, complete to do dot to do dot completed to do dot completed in that case we are going to line through line through if this is false it will go into normal see it is not applying it is not applying here It is not working here for this. Uh, for this, we are going to where we are going to use means in this index itself only to do app index only. We are going to create here this one here. We are going to create and we are going to pass here which one we are going to pass filter sorry toggle to do toggle to do as a function as a function and where we are going to use means toggle to do where we are going to use here we are going to use this one. Spider-Man is Spider-Man as web-based web-based person. You click on add. I still it is not showing. What is the problem? I think UA is not rendering. Okay, we have did uh, something mistake here. 
okay it is not required this one also not required here we are going to go with the previous one only uh, this one also not required but here we are going to pass a set to do's okay we have did uh, some mistake here okay no problem same this is the ua is okay but here we are getting new to do's we are getting new to do's equal to or we can do this thing in a uh, or no no problem here we can call it as new to do's also okay set to do's of new to do's okay actually here this map is giving the new new to do actually map is, will be after we filled like uh, after doing the map function we, it will give the new to do's this new to do's we are going to set into the this set to do's then it is then it will render the application then then it will render the this uh, component and then will it will give the uh, strike line see if you use the superman superman is powerful powerful person if you click on this one if you click on here see strike line is coming strike line is coming if you want to change line Uh, here we here we are decoration 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 I'm changing it this decoration color uh, this one instead of red I'm going to change see red is coming red is not looking like blue 500 okay blue is good see a small thing i am missed that here where we this we are getting we that see previous one is same only previous thing we are, what we have did in the to do only it will okay but after after coming the to do's dot map it will giving the new to do's we, we are going to return this new to do's it will give the new it will actually to do's dot map will return the to do's dot map will return the here it will give new to do's like new new to do's it will return we are going to pass this new to do's into the this set to do's this set to do's function we are going to pass after passing only it will render the uh, it will render this ui it will change it to to do uh, uh, it will change it to the to do dot completed into true in it will reflect the line through if you if you make it as a again see this line will be gone why means uh, if you go to the this route this and uh, see false we will get it if you click on this you can see again it is getting or you can write then instead of writing like this why false is my uh, want like this also you can write empty you can leave with the empty see if you click on this one here see change it to grow only change it to grow only if you click on this one see again it will come to line through and decoration blue color 500 if you change this to orange if you don't want decoration color also you can change to orange see orange color is there and if you want to increase decoration decoration line decoration slide see for give this okay solid solid da double dashed if you want dotted see here looking like a dotted or solid it will show like a or if you want to double 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 lines it will showing like a double lines if you want only single line make it as a solid solid is a default no need to write 
or it is a default non utility right if you click on again here this line will be gone see if you see here also this line will be gone if you click on here once again this line will be getting here grow space line through and decoration orange 500 if you click on here once again toggling toggling mechanism once again one more so spider man is spider man has web powers web, web powers web powers click on add button see if you toggle this one again uh, if you want to use one more new text copy this text and paste it here and add click on the add see see this one also okay. if you click on this one and see we are going to do this edit and edit and uh, delete buttons in the next section uh, next session if you want to complete me you can complete okay we will do come we will complete um we will complete this uh, on click on click here and uh, we can complete the this both also uh, delete delete to do here click on id and and first first we are going to use the to do's dot filter to do dot filter same and it it is getting the each and to do's to do dot id equal to equal to uh, not equal to we are going to filter not equal to uh, to do's of id in that case in this case only we are writing to do's remaining case we are going to leaving it in null or you can write it like this also okay wait friends i'm going to charging on or to do not like this we'll see it then to do uh, in this to do is also write the some new to do's new to do's equal to to do's dot filter of to do uh, set to do's of new to do's set to do's of new to do's try to show in the like this okay due to this on click we have to pass the delete to do of the pass this one and we have to pass must and should to do dot item so to do dot id uh, to do dot item if you click on this see it will delete it actually in this form of button i'm going to install one auto complete tool for this auto rename auto not auto complete auto re auto rename tool this tool install this tool uh, and come to here and uh, go to here to do input uh, not to do input come to the to do here if you click on if you change here automatically this second to do this ending to do also will be changed here also if you if you don't change into div it will change in that ending to do also change if you again if you change it to the button this c Ending to do also changing like this. On click off here, here we are going to do the some big task here. First, we are going to this edit to do is a some big task. First, we are going to take one input here for separately. Uh, here only const uh, is editable. Is editable. set is editable that is editable equal to use state of use state of 
false. I'm making it by default, it is false. And one more new state also. That one is test. Uh, that one is um, edit test. Edit test. Set edit test. Set edit test equal to use state of we are going to pass the to do the text here. Here we are going to first remove this one is editable. In this case only, we are going to in this case only, we are going to try to so this first is editable means we are going to uh, we are going to ready to use the input of this thing type of uh, type of text and play, uh, placeholder not required value or the uh, value I am writing uh, edit text value I am writing edit text on change of on change of e dot of set set edit text of e dot e dot target dot value e dot target dot of value e dot target bar is editable is editable case only we are ready to uh, is ready to and like if that if this uh, if if you click on here we are we are going to enable the edit like it, it is this uh, uh, spider man has web powers means we are going to enable it into uh, edit in this case it it will show the one form like uh, one uh, input test uh, form it ready to show that for that for that only i have used here if you want to don't want to edit means we are going to click this pencil again this will uh, this will go into come into the some um, normal test to do dot test it will instead of that the that uh, input will be gone and it will in, in, input that uh, input uh, uh, tag will be gone and it will show only that normal text that to do dot test in the form of um, you can use that here uh, p tag also Here we can write is editable is not defined. Why it is not defined? Okay, it is now running. We click on here, it is running now. I think error is previous one. While uh, typing that error is came here, that's why it is showing. See, if we click on here, uh, we are going to write some class here. Going to write some padding also. X axis, by X axis only I'm going to write some padding here. Six I'm going to write. It looks like here class I'm going to write border two and border border two and border color gray, banded and rounded. MD, rounded MD, PX, 2 and PY, 
सॉरी पी एक्स पी एक्स फोर एक्स थ्री एंड पी वाई टू दिस वन पी एक्स टू एंड पी वाई पी वाई टू एंड एंड ओके वी विल सी फर्स्ट हाउ इट इज गोइंग ऑन फॉर दिस इयर आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द लॉजिक एंड एडिट टू डू इयर आई एम गोइंग टू राइट टू डू डॉट डॉट आई डी is editable is editable it will show one thing is editable it will show one pencil is not editable it will show one more one more icon what that i'm going to show pen icon create one one function const const of the uh, const of edit to do edit to do of will gives the id if here we are going to see the is editable first we are going to see um first we are going to see which one we are going to see first computer ah uh, first we are going to see is editable is red is editable means first we are going to see editable then so pass and try to do here one more thing we are going to call it to do call the yeah, comma to do Okay. Instead of this, here we are going to pass in the comma to do restructure this and yeah. I need text comma completed. first we are going to see completed or not if this it is com not completed only we are going to perform the we are going to perform the edit then then is editable or not is editable in this case we are going to write two things if and else if this is not editable set is editable to set is editable to true or we can make it as a previous of not of previous previous of not of previous <laughs> not of previous is editable in this case we are going to to do dot map of to do dot map of right each and every to do compare with to do dot id comparing with id dot 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 to do comma text text of uh, text we are going to copy here from where we are going to take this edit test this test we are going to take pass here and uh, not required next column to do just pass it as a to do it will gives some new to do it will gives some new to do 
how previously used. We are going to set this new to do's to set set to do's of new to do's. Here also make it as a again set these to do's to previous of not of previous. If you don't do this, it will show in the in the form of input only. If you do again set to the again change it to the toggle this one, it will uh, make it as a again it will come to the test. If you uh, if you do if you comment and if you show this uh, lorem it some data if you can do this it is not showing either it will not defined. is not defined. So oh, sorry, we have written in the toggle to do. Sorry, we don't have to write in the function. Inner functions have to write in the start of this. Actually, we have written in the toggle to do. In the inner function, we have written toggle to do. We have written this thing. He is editable and edit cache. Sorry, save this and we have to while coding the we we are going to solve a lot of problems. We have to first make learn the debugging skills, of where the error is coming and how to solve that error. Lorem ipsum, lorem ipsum data. Click on add button. See, it is coming. If you click on this one, it is show. In this case, in this uh, completed phase, we are not going to allow to edit. Only in the uncompleted phase only, we are going to allow to edit. Here, see, in the form, it will comes to the here data center or can write the center and click on this one. Why it is not going due to this? Due to this, we have to uncomment and uncomment and click on the this edit button. It will come to the here normal. If you want to do we can change data center and click on this edit button. Edit button. And one more. Uh, Spider, Spider Man has web powers. Web powers. Click on add button, you will see one more. And if you click on here, and if you want to add, it will not allow us to add. If you un un untoggle this and click on this, see. Instead of web powers, wonderful powers. Wonderful powers. Wonderful powers. Click on edit button, it will edit it. And if you want to delete, you write one more and uh, building blocks of building blocks of JS. I'm just writing. If you want to delete, delete this one. Okay, delete that. Like this, we are going to perform the these to do's in the using the context API. Context API mechanism. Context, context API state management technique. In the next class, we are going to see how to combine the to do, like uh, how to work with to do app with the combination of context API and use web user. It will put, it will make you uh, life easy. Like uh, we are going to combine the uh, context API and use web user and we are going to uh, develop the to do API. To do, to do application, to do application, not to do API, to do application. We are going to combine both context API and um, uh, use red user, uh, this, uh, this th these two things, and we are going to develop the application called this to do app. To do app, it will, uh, it will make life easy. No need to write this all things in the one page. We are going to write that uh, in the separate con uh, separate user end user we are going to only call the using the dispatch method that is it, it will it will make the life easy like uh, it will not look like you see here you have written this to do uh, toggle to do delete to do this thing it will make the, some ugliness like like uh, some uh, 
uh, some lots of code it, it looks like a, some lots of code it looks like a, some uh, ugliness but if you use the use reducer with combination of use context, context API, it will uh, like no need to write these all things. If you call the only dispatch method, that will take care of the whole thing. We are going to see in the next class these all things. How to implement the to do application using the both combination of context API and reducer. We are going to focus on the mainly uh, like it will remove the all of these things like. Uh, like day by day we are increasing the uh, readability like it will look like a some cleanness of the code if you like my content please like and subscribe my channel and support my channel thanks friends